For the Surratt Shoe Project, I'm actually painting on a masonite shape. I started by creating my palette, getting small amounts of paint out of the containers, and mixing the colors that I wanted. Here I was mixing a tint. You can also mix secondaries and tints of primaries and secondaries. In this example, what I'm doing is I'm painting all of the areas of my project in a base color. So kind of the idea of the color that I want in each, each area. I'm being somewhat careful, although you will be able to see as you look at this coat that it isn't it isn't necessarily a finished coat. You can see through it in some places, but that's okay. Next, you're gonna be doing your dots in an analogous color. So a color that's next to it on the color wheel. This can be, in this example, you could go either orange or purple. Some of the suggested things to paint with, a brush, a Q-tip, a toothpick. The dot can be a nice round dot or it can be a little bit of a dash it doesn't need to be perfect you will be doing dots in every area now a lot of color mixing has occurred to this point so this is what my palette looked like last step is we're going to be painting a much smaller dot and it's going to be either an unexpected color, or you could use white, or you could use both. Here are some examples of these dots, and they're smaller. You'll notice that as you're looking at these, in some cases, those dots are used to help show the highlight and the shadow, and there's more dots than, than two colors of dots. This is a review, first coat, second coat, third coat and then in another area of the painting first coat second coat third coat and you'll see there's more there's more colors in some of those areas that's optional now it's your turn to think about what you're gonna be painting on your shoe, on your hat, on whatever you're gonna be painting. Have fun.